Hello. Good evening, Mr. Mauricio. Good evening, Mr. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, How Mr. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, Mr. Hi, good fine. Evening. If you? Nice. I'm good. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Miss Sandra, how are you? Good evening. Fine, teacher. And you? Nice. I'm good. Thank you. Ay, no sé por qué me miro con unas, like, thingies. Very strange. Hello, Miss Esmeralda. Good evening. Será mi cámara? Okay, so let's wait a, a minute for the other ones, maybe. They come. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Let's wait, maybe let's go with two more minutes. Okay, let's give them two more minutes. Maybe they come to the class, okay. Hello, good evening, Miss Abigail. Hello, good evening, um, Miss, who else? Miss Andrea, good evening. How are you girls? <coughs> good evening. Good evening, teacher, how are you? I'm good, and you, Miss, how are you? I'm tired. Ah, uh, tired, but it's Friday, Miss. Almost, almost, almost. We are finished with this. Tomorrow, Tomorrow you work? Yes. Me too, Miss, but it's Friday. <laughs> Don't worry, almost, Miss. Pero ya, ya casi, Miss. Ya estamos más de allá de que de acá. <laughs> so, don't lose the help. Okay, we can do this. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Es sobre lo de la condicional if. Mm -hmm. Usted me, usted dijo que significaba lo mismo que pusiéramos if o pusiéramos when, ¿verdad? Que siempre iba a ir acompañada del simple, simple present. present. Sí, las dos. Um, es que yo me recuerdo que cuando yo estudié en otro lado, en una uh -huh. academia, uh -huh. yo vi que una oración tenía que ir en futuro y la otra tenía que ir en presente. Mm. Que era una... Uh -huh. Ese no es... Me recuerdo. ¿Mm? Ese es mis, el first conditional. Es que hay cuatro tipos. Quiero ver, zero, first, second, and third conditional. Hay cuatro tipos. El um, zero conditional is to talk about things that are true, para hablar de cosas que son verdaderas. El, zero con, el first conditional <coughs> lo vamos a utilizar para posibles cosas que sucedan y que obvio, sí, okay, van a, son verdaderas también pero van a suceder y entonces ahí es donde utilizamos el futuro mis what is happening with my camera y el segundo eh, condicional es para hablar de cosas que son cómo le puedo decir Imagine, imaginary situations y el third también es para cosas imaginarias el segundo y el <coughs> y el tercero son lo mismo lo único que cambian es el, los tiempos entonces el will se utiliza pero con el first conditional y si se da cuenta en este lo que vamos a estudiar el día lunes porque es el día lunes que vamos a estudiar ese tema es acerca de el zero conditional el cero condicional entonces en el cero condicional solo se utiliza el simple present <coughs> por eso mismo sí yo entiendo que sí es cierto hay uno que lleva el will o el futuro y es el, el first conditional si lo buscan por ejemplo va a ver eso que ahí es donde se utiliza uh -huh. no sé si contesté a su pregunta Miss 
sé, solo que como lo vi hace tiempo, en lo de la pandemia, y que también, en que donde, con, por ejemplo, a la hora que tenía la clase era de 6 a 5, entonces mi papi se ponía a ver una novela que me distraía, así que hay momentos que me perdí la noción y siento que por eso quedé bien atrasada. No, pero you're good Porque means yo everybody. Siento... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo para mí yo entiendo mal inglés escrito, no hablado, pero ese me pierdo. Oh, understand. Eso es la, lo que me cuesta. Okay. No, but you're you're good. Everybody here is good though. Ajá, todos siento que sí entienden. And then also you practice very good. Hacen las prácticas muy bien todos. So you're good for the for the module. You're super good. Okay. Va muy bien para el módulo en que, en que están, porque recuerden que es básico, so it's, it's a small, I'm sorry. And so you are very good advanced. So let's get, hello, Mr. Jorge Antonio, hello, Miss Rebecca. How are hello, you today? Good evening. good evening, how are you today? How are you, Mr. Jorge? Fine, thanks. Nice, nice. what about you, Miss Rebecca, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Nice. Hello, Miss Lady. Welcome. Hello. Hello good evening, Miss. How are you, Miss? I'm fine. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's go and start with the class for today. Uh, so today's class, it is, uh, well, uh, continuing, right, with English for work program. This is basic module number four. My name, one more time, is Lisa Rosmin Alvarado Martinez. And today it is November, Friday, November 11, 2022. And uh, today, <clears throat> let's go and continue with unit number four. That is accounting, okay? Um And something that I want to tell you is that somebody told me eh, algo que quiero recordarles y se lo voy a, a, pues a decir porque eh, creo que lo hemos olvidado. Me dice, Miss, ¿ahora terminamos el módulo? No, le dije yo, por, vamos a terminar el martes ya que el 2 de noviembre pues fue a sueto, entonces tenemos que cumplir esa clase el próximo lunes y también la del de 28 de octubre. Entonces serían estas dos clases que vamos a cumplir la próxima semana, ¿verdad? No porque ahora terminaba, ¿verdad? Pero nos falta lunes y el martes terminamos. Pero sí, the platform for today or tomorrow, ¿ok? But no more than tomorrow, ¿ok? Pero no más allá de mañana para terminar la plataforma. ¿Por qué? Porque recuerden que yo tengo que enviar sus notas, ¿ok? And they are very, very important, ¿ok? So that's why I told you yesterday that if you have any problems or, or if you need any help, that text me, ¿ok? Por eso ayer les decía que si tenían alguna duda o pregunta que me escribieran, y que yo con mucho gusto pues les ayudaba, ¿verdad? And so with, with, like, with that, right? Con eso, con lo, con lo de, con lo de la plataforma, okay? So, in today's class, we are going to talk about, uh, we are going to describe cash flow cycle of companies, okay? And then also we are going to learn the uh, conversations or phrases that we use gerunds, okay, in different forms. Como ustedes saben y como pudieron ver en los ejercicios, yo sé que algunos ya los realizaron. Los gerunds se pueden utilizar con varios verbos y eso vamos a aprenderlo el día de ahora. And let's start with the first activity. As you remember, yesterday we were studying so and such. So today, to practice that, I have a little activity in which we are going to say what is the correct answer okay so just give me one second so we can start with this activity you have to say the correct answer welcome mr francisco hello hello teacher hello i'm good and you mister i am good nice nice hello miss nice, nice. hello miss Ilcia. welcome okay Let's go ahead and start with me, Sandra. What what number would you like to try, Miss Sandra? Here. Five, teacher. Okay, number five. Okay. Ah, what's the correct answer here? Can you read the sentence? Remember that is so or such. Such. Uh -huh. 
repeat the, please, the sentence, pero tienes que leer la oración, please. Ok. Uh -huh. Lauri is such a good friend. Exactly. Let's see. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Let's go, Mr. Mauricio. Number 10. Ok, number 10. Ok. Oh, you have two sentences here, Mr. I'm sorry. Tienes dos oraciones acá. Ok. That's it. So mm -hmm. That is such a good idea. Uh -huh. You are so smart. Okay. Yes, very good, Mr. Excellent. Let's go next one. Help me, please, Miss Rebecca. Number 13. 13. Okay, this one, Miss. Such. It was such a beautiful day that we decide to to go oh, out excellent thank you miss very good let's go now with miss abigail what number miss six six okay number six number six okay let's go they have many things to do and so little time excellent miss let's see next one mr francisco what number Number seven. Seven. Okay, let's go. What's the yeah. answer? I have so many ideas for this project. I think it is going to be such a big hit. Yes, excellent. Thank you, mister. You're let's welcome. Go. Nice, let's see Miss Lady here. Um, two. Two. Okay. Such. You're, you're such a kind person. Kind. Excellent. Kind oh. Such. Such a kind person. Okay. Such a kind person. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Let's go next one. Mr. Jorge, what number would you like to try? 15. Okay, 15. Okay, here, mister. Mm -hmm, mm -mm, mm -mm. My class is so boring that I feel asleep. Oh, my goodness. Yes, very good. Thank you. Let's go. Next one. Uh... Volunteers, now volunteers, please. I want to, to practice here. I want to help me. Twelve. Twelve, okay. Oh, no, another number, miss. Sixteen. Okay, sixteen. Oh, my God, another number. <laughs> yeah. Four. Four. Okay, this one, miss. I was so busy today that I couldn't even eat lunch. Yes, very good. Thank you. Let's go next one. Next volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss Rebecca. Okay, what number would you like to try? Three. Three. Good. So you have. I had such a good time last year. Amazing. Yes, Miss. Thank you. Let's go with next one. Volunteers. I am. Okay, I am. You. okay let's go, Mr. Francisco. What number? 11, 11, 11. 11. Okay, so this one. Oh, the exam was so hard that I felt like crying. <laughs> crying, yes. Very good. No, don't cry because of the exam. I'm very great. Okay. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, don't cry. You don't have to cry for the final exam. Let's see next one. Number one. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jorge. Uh -huh. She is such a talented artist. Yes, awesome. Thank you. Next one. Hello. Next one, eight, nine, or 14. Volunteers, where are the 
Awesome. Number nine, teacher. All right. Oh, number nine. And then Mr. Francisco. Okay, let's go, Mr. Jorge. Wow. That is <laughs> such a relief. I told we we are going to be in so much trouble. Awesome. Very good job, Mr. Thank you. Let's go, Mr. Francisco now. Yeah, which number is uh, number eight and number uh for uh, number eight, eight. Number eight. Okay. All right. <laughs> Number 14. Okay, this one. This one All is right. your. Mm -hmm. I was such a fan party that nobody want to leave. What? Wanted to leave. I wanted to leave. Right. Yes, very good. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. Yes, you're deep. Awesome. Thank you for doing it. Okay, let's move on. Let's Let's go with the next activity, okay? That was a little practice of so and such. I remember that yesterday we were studying, right? Ayer estuvimos practicando un poco de so and such. So, next one. In this one, okay, I had a little bit of practice for the verbs. Because in today's class, we are going to use a lot of verbs, okay? And we have to remember. So, in this one, wait a second, just let me check. Okay, I remember. Wait a second. In this activity, hmm, okay, you are going to see, okay, some, uh, what happened to the card? Okay, there, you have the cards and you have to find the pair. Van a encontrar la pareja. Well, it will be the verb with the picture. Van a ver una imagen con, y tienen que encontrar la palabra, por ejemplo. So let's go ahead and try, Miss Sandra. What number would you like to try? What number and letter you have to say, Miss? A1. A1. Mm -hmm. C5. C5. Oh, no, but good no. try, Miss. Let's go next one. Mr. Mauricio. A1. Mm -hmm. B2. B2. Oh, mm. but good try. Let's go, Miss Abigail. A6, B6. A6, B6, right? A B6. Oh, can you mm. say the verb, please? Listen. Aha, listen. Thank you. Let's go next one. Miss Dilcia. D one, mm -hmm. D one, B four, B four. Oh, good try though. Thank you, me. Let's go next one. It would be Miss Mr. Francisco. C four. Uh huh. Woo. B two. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, what's the verb? Think. <laughs> yes, excellent. Thank you. Right. Let's go. Yes. Let's go, Mr. Jorge. Tell me, Mr. Mm, B5. Mm -hmm. B5 and C2. C2. No, but good try. Let's go, Miss Lady. Um, before mm -hmm. um, C six C six. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't change. Oh, there. Okay, let's see next one, please, Miss Rebecca. A three. A three. C6. C6. Yes, what's okay. the verb? Look. Yes, look. Thank you. Let's go next one, please. Miss Sandra. D2. Mm -hmm. um, B5. B5. Oh, no. Mm. But good try. Let's go, Mr. Mauricio. B5. 
Uh huh. B five. D one. B one. D one. Ay, no, pero mire. <laughs> bueno, gracias. Uh, <laughs> tell, tell me what's the verb, please. Work. Yes, very good. It's work. Thank you. Let's see, Miss Abigail. <laughs> bueno, me, thank you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Six, three? Uh, one more time. Sí, sí, three. Sí. Three. Okay, mm -hmm. three. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Whatever. A five. A five. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <We're> good. <laughs> Se acuerda. I forget. Ay, okay. Let's see next one. Um, Miss Lady. B3. B3, uh-huh. D2. Okay. D2. D2. Oh, no, mm -hmm. good try. Let's see now, Miss, hello, Miss Michelle, welcome. Hello, Hello, Miss. hello. Okay, Miss, so let's try it here. Vamos a intentar la camis. So tell me, tell me, tell okay. me. Uh-huh. A1. Okay. A. A4. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see next one, Mr. Jorge. Here. It's A5. A5, uh-huh. A1. Correct. Yay! <laughs> Tell me the verb, please. Sleep. Exactly. Let's go. Miss Rebecca. C3. Uh-huh, C3. Hmm. C2. C2. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. what's... Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with um, who is Miss? Mr. Francisco. Yes. B3. 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 Oh, right. <laughs> C, uh, C5. C5. Yes, wow. right. Mm-hmm. This very right. <laughs> that was good. Let's see Miss Sandra one more time, please. C1. Mm -hmm. A4. A4. Mm. Okay, let's see Miss Rebecca. A4. A4. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. No. Wait, wait, one more time. Wait, A4? B4. What's the verb? Jump. Exactly. Let's see now, Miss Michelle. D2. Mm -hmm. um, a D2. Yes. Mm -hmm. And A2. Yes. What's the verb? Drink. Exactly. And the last one, it's talk. Yeah. Very, very good. Okay, let's go ahead and continue with the second section. Well, the next section of the class. Just right now, give me one second because I want to look for some. Oh, I didn't pass the attendance the section. Wait, ahorita vamos a hacer section de asistencia because I forgot about that. Wait. Just give me one second because I want to search for something real quickly. Quickly. <clears throat> okay, please say presente. Abigail Mejia. Andrea Amalia. Dania Lisbeth. 
Thank you, Tilsia Yamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. <coughs> um, Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose, I mean, no, Jose Ezequiel. Juan Jose. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Emirna Elizabeth. Rebeca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail. Present. Thank you. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, give me one tiny little second. Okay, so today, as I told you before, we are going to continue with this new topic that is, um, wait a second, give me one second. This computer is not charging nothing, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, and I need something. Mm, I have it. <clears throat> okay. No, not the link. I don't need the link. Oh my goodness. We are going to, to continue today because I forgot to put something over here that I really, really need. Okay, give me a second here. I'm sorry because I forgot about this. Okay, now, yes. Thank you for waiting. Okay, so let's go ahead and we are going to go to continue. Okay, we're going to go to the uh, manual. Wait a second, I don't know if I had something before. Okay, so that was the activity. And here, we're going to go to the manual because as you remember, a couple of days ago, uh, unos días atrás, we were studying about this, that it was the cash flow. What was the cash flow? Do you remember? What is it? Uh, flujo de efectivo. Exactly, but but in English. <laughs> uh -huh. Like the Before, definition. Incoming and outcoming uh -huh. cash. <laughs> exactly, the the money that comes and the money that goes, right? Or incomings and up comes very good and it says here discussing groups what is uh what a cash flow cycle is and what are the steps um yeah but basically miss miss rebecca just said it miss rebecca lo acaba de decir verdad we have incomes and we have outcomes in the cash flow it's running right and we have sometimes we invest y a veces hay que invent, invertir so we can have some earnings and we can have some uh, assets and you know, liabilities right and all of that so here we we'll start with this new topic we have a little bit of a conversation as you can see there and i want two of you to help me to read it volunteers to help me to read this conversation please thank Maybe you here. okay francisco and miss abigail uh, Miss Abigail, you are Hugo, and Mr. Francisco, you are Milton, okay? okay? So let's go ahead and start, please. One, two, three, go. The sales were not so good. This month, therefore? Their therefore, yes. Increasing our sales is our diet this month. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes has to be mandatory on each cell file. That's a good idea. 
Also, I am interested in buying raw materials so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I am I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Exactly, thank you, very good, okay. So as you can see, there are words that are in bold. They are in negrita, as we call it, okay? And that's for a reason, and we are going to uh, learn. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sorry? Jerums, yes, yeah. they are Jerums, Jerums. Yes, exactly. We are going to learn a little bit about that in a second. But before we do that here, as you can see, they are explaining the cycle of cash flow, right? Ahí estaban explicando el, el ciclo de cash flow. There are... Is there any word that you don't recognize here in this conversation? Is there anything that you don't know that you want to know the definition or the translation for? What was a loan? Do you remember what is a loan? This one, bank loan. What is that? Como préstamo bancario. Exactly. What about incomes? What was it? Entrada de dinero. And outcomes in English? Salida de dinero. Uh -huh. And what about sales? Ventas. In English, how do you say that? Definition for sales. Sale. Uh -huh. But sales, yeah. Sell the products. Uh -huh. When you sell a product, exactly, Miss. Thank you. And uh, I think. Um, Save more money would be? Um, ahorrar dinero. Exactly. Ahorrar más dinero. Exactly. <laughs> yes, very good. Pero target significa, what the meaning? Meta. Uh, the Presupuesto. Mm, it can be, no, 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 no. Meta or it can be objetivo. Uh, in Thank this you. case, the sale, our sales is our target this month. Nuestra Meta. ventas, ajá, nuestras metas, yeah. In this case, or nuestro objetivo. It could be any of the- Budget two. es presupuesto, verdad? Budget, yes. Budget. Budget, exactly. Teacher, track. Yeah. I'm sorry? Track. Track, like that? Ah, oh, yes, track. Yes. Es eh, como llevar el... Um... Oh, my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my goodness. Seguimiento, track. Pista, seguimiento. Okay, trayectoria. That would be track. Also, another one, that raw materials. Do you know what is raw materials? No. Producto, producto o producto en existencia o producto bruto, le dicen algunos, ¿ok? En in the, in the, in the factories, right? Raw significa como existencia. No, eh, raw materials, juntos. Raw material es producto en existencia, junto. Solo raw, si pones raw, te va a salir que es... En el buscador te va a salir que es, ¿cómo se llama? Materia prima. Ah, thank you, Mr. Materia prima. Um, pero también está, solo, si solo pones raw, es algo, oh my goodness, I forgot how to say raw in Spanish. It would be como, oh my goodness. Cuando algo no está, oh my goodness, I forgot how to say that. Crudo, crudo, yes, crudo, thank you, miss. Exactly. Crudo, raw. Thank you, miss. Se me había ido la palabra. <laughs> Tanto que lo uso. What about another one? I think just that. And here we have a... Uh, we have three questions. And the first one, it says, what is the objective, objective this month according to the, to the conversation? What was the objective? Mm, 
Great. Save more money. Um, Any other idea? Increasing sales target uh, this month. Mm -hmm. Increase Sale. sales target. Sales target, target. Mm -hmm. this month. Mm -hmm. este mes. Mm -hmm. This month. Excellent, mister. What about what? I'm sorry. What are some steps? they want to follow? What are the steps that they are going to follow to reach this? Para alcanzar esta meta. Get a new client. Uh -huh. Get new clients. Uh -huh. What Rising else? And keeping track on the incomes and outcomes. Uh -huh. Keeping track. Track of what, sorry? On incomes. And outcomes. Incomes and outcomes. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. Analyzing. I'm sorry? And analyzing. Analyzing, right? All the things exactly. And keeping track. Mm -hmm. Analyzing. And that's buying, basic. Buying raw materials. Uh huh. Buying raw materials. And what is one of them uh, that they are worried about? What is something that they are very worried about? That is one. Mm -hmm. de que, por qué what is the something? sales were not so good. Ah, oh, because the sales were not so good. So they are, we. Good, so they worry about that, right? Okay, so very good. Thank you so much for helping me doing this, okay? Question so far or doubt so far? Okay, now in the next, uh, this was, uh, as I was, I was saying before, uh, we have these verbs that I mentioned before that they are using, right? At the beginning of the sentences, right? The analyzing, keeping, buying, getting, asking, and increasing, okay? Those are called yeah. chair rooms, exactly. And then, so yes, we are going to start in with this topic that is Jerome and Please, we are going to listen to the explanation and after I when I want, well, I will tell you when I want you to help me with some examples, okay? So let's just start. So germs, germs, uh, so basically, you already know these, that germs are the verbs that start with the, uh, well, the finish, sorry, that finish with ing, right? And uh, they are used with other verbs, y son, Estos gerundios or germs son utilizados con otros verbos, okay? And so, do you remember um, the rules when to add ing to the verbs? Who remembers? That wants to tell me. Fabia, uh, como sujeto, cuando dice, por ejemplo. That, that's when we add... No, miss. I am asking you, when do we, listen to my question. When do we add ing to the verbs? How do we create a germ? How? When the verb describes an action. Aha, uh -huh. but which ones are the rules? ¿Cuáles son las reglas para crear los ing verbs? Do you remember? Okay. Se pueden utilizar de otras maneras. Uh, Where to be? Mm -mm -mm. No, no. Yeah. no. Uh, the verb plus e i n g. Exactly. Thank you, Mister. Okay, that's one. So most of the verbs, okay, la mayoría de los verbos. ¿Cómo vamos a crear un gerundio? That's what I wanted right now. Okay, you were saying the sentences, but that's perfect. But right now, I want to start by creating germs. Okay, quiero empezar creando los germs. Okay, how do we do it? The first rule, la primera regla. Remember that you only add ing, right? La primera regla es solo agregarle ing. Like for example, si. Sería seen, go, going, right? Then we have eat, eating. Then we have look, 
looking, saying, say, saying, right? That's the first rule, right? Second rule, do you remember the second rule? Or another rule for ING verbs? Mm -hmm. For example, get uh, the la... The consonant? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. What happened? You duplicate. Duplicate the last consonant. Ah. Oh, help. Ay, aquí tengo otros ejemplos, I remember. Help with ING sería helping in helping. jump. Jumping. Mm -hmm. Meet. Meeting. Meeting. Plus T. No, in this no, one. No, no, no. Same, same, same. Uh -huh. Walk. Working. Working. Uh-huh. I think this one. Okay. Uh, oh, no. I duplicate this one. Again, the same one. Okay, this one. Yes, the, the one that Miss was saying, like estaba diciendo la Miss. We uh, duplicate the last consonant, right? Like for example, run, we have run, then we run. duplicate, uh -huh. yeah. do we duplicate the last consonant and then we add ing, like for example, run, running, shop, sería? Shop. Shopping, uh -huh. duplicate, right? Okay, and here we have some practice. Let's see. Shot, sería? Plus T. Uh -huh. Shotting. Shotting? Yes. Shot Clap. Clap. Clapping. Yes. We. We. Uh, win. <laughs> win. Uh, I win. give you a copy. <laughs> and sit. Sitting. Sitting, yes, very good. Okay, now the verbs that end in E, a la hora con los verbos que terminan en E, remember that we eliminate, eliminate. Eliminate E. Ajá, uh -huh, eliminate. E -N -G. Exactly, for example, make, sería? Making. 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 Take. Taking. Exactly, very good. And. Uh, uh -huh. We are going to add ing to these verbs. For example, write. Writing. Writing. Uh -huh. Smile. Smiling. Smiling. Come. Coming. Coming. Like. Liking. Liking. Okay. And drive. Driving. Driving. Ride, riding. Care, caring, caring. Hope, hoping. Hate, hating. Decide, deciding. deciding. Mm -hmm. Very good. And this, I know we are missing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so these are like the most common rules, as you know, for the ING, right? Um, esas son como las reglas más comunes para crear un, yeah. un gerund, right? Now, now, yes, what is a gerund, okay? So a gerund, basically, okay, here we have a little bit of definition that it says a gerund is a verbal that ends in ing and function, okay, as a verb and as a noun in some situations, okay. Um, in this one, it says that therefore expresses an action or a state of being, okay. El germ, como ustedes saben, como lo han podido observar en las actividades en la, en las, de la plataforma, se puede utilizar de muchas maneras. And we are going to learn that today. Y vamos a aprender eso el día de ahora. And one of them is the verb, right? It's like a verb. The other way it can be as a noun. And the other bear, it, it type, it can be as an object, right? And we are going to learn that. Give me one sec. So here. And here us, wait, no, let me, let me stop with this. Wait a second because I want to see something else before that. Antes de eso, quiero ver algo más. 
Mm -hmm. So the germs, they can be used as germs and as germ phrases, okay? And these are the different options that you have for the germs. Estas son las diferentes opciones que tienen como germs. Like you can use the germs, like for example, an indirect object, an a subject, a direct object, an object of the preposition, and then as a predicate or the object, okay? And so you can use it in these ways, okay? Lo podemos utilizar en estas formas y aquí tengo algunas Algunos ejemplos de oraciones, ok? So, for example, for a subject of a sentence, as you can see there, we have the number one. Can you help me to read the sentence number one, please, Mr. Jorge? Exercising. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Exercising builds strength and endurance. Okay, yes, very good. Okay, so you have exercising, as you can see here at the beginning of the sentence, I have a gerund, right? And then I have something to complete the, the idea, right? And next one, direct object. Can you help me please to read uh, Miss Kenya? Uh, which one teacher, sorry? Direct object, please. Direct object. Some people enjoy exercising. Exactly. As you can see, the same verb is used. The only thing that happens is that uh, it goes after this verb, enjoy. Ya les voy a mostrar después de qué verbos podemos utilizar los gerundios. Porque hay una cierta lista, no con cualquier verbo lo vamos a hacer. Okay. So in this case, it would be uh, some people enjoy exercising. Okay. Ahí tenemos el gerundio. Miren como un object. Let's go after a preposition. Read it, please, Miss Lady. Object of a preposition. What are the benefits of exercising? Of exercising. exercising. Aquí está the preposition of, or we can use by, or at, in, on. Okay, and then we have the gerund, as you can see here. Thank you. Now the last one, Miss Sandra, please. Predicate no. My favorite. My favorite, activity. yes. My favorite activity. Activity is exercising. Yes, very good, Miss. Thank you. As you can see here, again, we have it as an as an object of the sentence. Igual aquí está como objeto. But in this case, we are using after the verb V, and then we have the gerund form, okay? Now, let's see, give me one second. Okay, now, I told you before that I, am going, I was going to show you the different verbs that you can use. Aquí están los, algunos de los verbos. Hay muchísimos, okay? But these are like the most common ones. Estos son los más comunes. So what happens after these verbs, the list of verbs that you can see over here, you are going to use an ing verb, okay? So if, for example, I have admit, and then look, you have a general verb. Or maybe uh, you have advised, applying, look. Then you have anticipate and then having acknowledge, receiving. Y así, después de cada uno de esos verbos que están por acá, you have to use a gerund verb, okay? And then here, in this case, uh, the only recommendation that I can tell you is that we must learn them. It, that is the only way to identify them, okay? We have, must learn them. And some of the verbs that don't appear over here are enjoy, love, hate, and I think those are the most common ones, yes. In, in WhatsApp, I'm going to send you another list. Like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like. What another verb means? A uh, boy. No, a boy. I said boy, miss. Mm -hmm. 
So these are some of the verbs, but I'm gonna send you another list on WhatsApp that is a little bit more span and you can um, you can use it in, in the next couple of uh, activities that we are going to do. Wait a second, please. Give me one second, please. And so I can send you the picture. <laughs> there are so many. They are so good. Questions at the moment. We're going to do our own examples. Okay, just give me one second. Okay. So remember, which ones are the uses? Can you remember that the four uses that we have for the germs? ¿Me acuerdan cuáles son los tres usos que tenemos para los germs? Mm -hmm. What is the first one? ¿Cuál es el primero? Uh -huh, as a subject, very good. Object after the preposition. Uh -huh, object after a preposition. So, yeah. object. As a subject, uh -huh, lo acabo de decir la mis. And? Object. Uh -huh. Object. As an as, object. Uh, exactly, as a direct object. Okay, give me one second so I can, we can create some sentences. Vamos a crear nuestras propias oraciones. Okay, so the first one, right? We have, um, we have the first one that is a, the gerum as and subject, right? That's the first one. In this one, we have to have in mind, okay, that the verb, the gerum, okay, it would be an activity, right? It has to be like an activity. Tiene que ser una actividad, un movimiento que hagamos nosotros, okay? If we want to use a gerum, si queremos utilizar un gerum, en este caso como sujeto, como se pudieron fijar ahí en las oraciones, es decir, exercising, right? ¿Qué otras actividades podemos hacer? Eating, swimming, running, running. running. Uh -huh. What are other verbs? Podemos jumping, jumping porque salta, nuestro cuerpo está en movimiento, ¿ok? So we have to move para poder utilizarlo como subject, ¿ok? Another, talking, talking, talking uh -huh. driving maybe, uh -huh. what else? Uh -huh. Climbing, driving, riding, uh -huh. Another action? Sleeping. Sleeping, very good. Because because the body yeah. no move. Ex mm, <laughs> yeah, but no, but sleeping, yeah. Well, but, it, but it's an action that you, because you got to move to the bed, porque te tienes que mover a la cama, a la okay, sillón, whatever. Okay. So, yeah, you move, yeah, right. Para roncar. Exactly. <laughs> and you you turn around, right, to the right, to the, to the to the size, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Another verb. Okay. Yeah. Drinking, Wait. dancing, wire, mm -hmm. waiting, mm, waiting. Escritor, yeah, yeah. writing. Ah, writing. Yes, definitely. Okay. Let's go, and we are going to use dancing because I love dance. No, I don't love dancing, but let's say dancing is my favorite activity. Okay, like this, dancing is my favorite activity okay and as you can see here since we move como nos movemos right dancing okay and then you complete with a, a sentence okay a regular sentence it can be in present it can be in past but the subject with ing it has to be remember right the germ in an action that you move okay El resto de la oración puede ser en presente, en pasado, like en presente progresivo, digamos, okay? Or any tense. But the first verb, it has to be with ing. Y recuerden que esa actividad se tiene, su cuerpo, uh, it has to be in a movement, okay? So in this case, dancing 
is my favorite activity or maybe sleeping or maybe driving or maybe jumping, running, um, smiling, right? Smiling, eh, laughing. Ahora bien, no pueden decir loving porque ustedes se mueven cuando loving. No, right? Or hating. Or le hacen, hmm, no. <laughs> Cuando odian algo, no, no, no se mueven, solo es un sentimiento, más no nos movemos. Tal vez hitting, <laughs> but no, no, not hating, right? Let's go next one. And next one was, ¿cuál era el otro? What's the other direct, use? Direct. Object, right? As I direct, era en the point, is a direct. Di direct object exactly so what happens with this we have some verbs right tenemos algunos verbos que se los acabo de enviar ahí en en, en whatsapp and a so voice. A, oh, i'm sorry a voice. A oh. boy. Uh -huh. Evitar. that's the verb that do you want me to use um, a boy. A boy. aconsejar a boy Oh, aconsejar. Advice. Advice, maybe. Es que advice es aconsejar. Advice, pero a es eva evadir. Then we have complete, completar, hate, okay, preferred. Vale, vamos a hacer ese con preferred porque yo vi que ahí en el ejercicio tenían una oración con preferred, right? So, for example, you can say, she prefers hmm she prefers driving okay driving the car and well in this one it will be well yeah it's it's perfect like this so we have here the subject and then you have the verb that i just sent you in the list okay this verb it can be in any tense okay este verbo de prefers pueden eh, utilizarlo en cualquier tiempo, ok, puede ser en presente, en pasado, en eh, with ing, ok, she prefers driving, y aquí ya tengo, miren, mi jerum, ok, igual que acá, voy a poner mi jerum, ok, and then I have something to complement, ok, but this is like the most important one, driving, ok, uh -huh. otro puede ser like for example, She prefer dancing. Ah, bachata. Exactly. Bachata. Exactly, mister. Or maybe it can be we eh, start. We start. Uh -huh. Can mm -hmm. you give me one verb with ing, please? Running. Ah, we start running. Excellent. Y miren, pues después de la, en la lista de verbos está este prefers. I mean, start, sorry, ya me quedado prefer, start, y después tenemos el gerum form. Dicho, eh, se le puede agregar en complemento ahí, después yeah. de we start running. Yes, you can okay. add. Some, we like, start running in the park. Exactly, mister. Yeah, definitely you can okay. do. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Third use, vamos con el tercer uso that it was, remembers. Germs. Uh -huh. After prepositions, okay? Después de preposiciones. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, prepositions. Like for example, we can say, um, hmm, let's see, maybe we can say, we, hmm, we, My goodness, I, I can you tell me one verb, please? We are a boy. No, just another mm -hmm. verb, miss, not a boy. Complain. <laughs> Complain. No, but not from the least. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Take. Take. We take. Uh... Oh, what are the wind? I'm sorry? Uh, wait, uh, no, no, no. Sorry. And I didn't understand, mister. 
What happened? No entendí. Estaba diciendo otra oración, pero... Ah, no, ok. Ok, so we take... Hmm, and then... We, we take... What can we, we take? Ah, we the take quiz. We, we, the quiz. The quiz. Ah. Uh, Ajá. Uh -huh. And then... <laughs> Exciting. But where is the preposition <laughs> now? Okay, let me give you another. We are going to change it a little bit. Okay, we, okay, maybe. And then we can use, for example, plan. We plan uh, to, hmm, we plan to, what can we say? One, and now, and now I need a gerund. We plan to, no, but to run. No, it, it's it's an it's an it's an infinitive in that case. We plan on driving, driving to San Salvador. Okay. Mm. Okay, this one. I'm gonna send you another list for this ones. Okay, le voy a mandar otra lista para el, el prepositions because right now I didn't remember anything. So here. We have the subject, then we have a verb, and then here I have my preposition on. Creo que han visto como tres preposiciones, ¿verdad? On, in, at, and what else? I don't remember. Just With. those. I'm sorry? With. What? Preposition? Uh-huh. With. With, ah, yes, with. Exactly, with, of. Without. No, without no, that's another word, Miss. Prepositions they are different, a little bit different. Okay. Uh, but they are, for example, before, by, on. Uh, uh, I'm sorry? Uh, what? At, yes, very good. Between. Until. Between, yes, very good. Until. Uh -huh, until, yes, very good. Okay. Another one, oh my goodness. They, they, and then feel, feel happy about, can you tell me what? <laughs> Jaron, please, they feel happy about. Now we need a Jaron here because about is another preposition. One Jerem, please. Uh, about about a gift. No, uh, yeah. receiving a gift. Okay, receive. Uh, receive a, a gift. gift. Uh -huh. I see. Because the the Jerem here, it's receiving, right? Yeah. The preposition is about. Okay. About. Something that I want to tell you is that we have many different types of prepositions. Tenemos muchos tipos en English. Tenemos muchos tipos de preposiciones. Hay de lugar, de tiempo, de what else? Um, movement, de movimiento, de um, what else? What else? What else? I forgot them. But there are so many. Okay, hay muchos tipos. And so about is another one. Okay, and that we use on. It can be for time and also for place, right? So there are many, okay? And so the other one is a, a predicate, but it's the same as the object, okay? La otra que estaba era como predicate, como predicado, but it's the same as the direct object. Why? Because they go at the end. ¿Por qué? Porque van al final, vea. So yeah, it's the same. Let's go with the presentation one more time. I think I have something more away. I don't remember here. What did I have? Oh, no, this one. No, we are not going to do this one. Well, it's the same that I was exercising. Not this one, no. Okay, here. Here we have some examples of 
the gerund phrases, okay? Because those are called gerund phrases, the ones that you were writing. Las oraciones cuando llevan un gerundio más otro verbo se llaman gerund phrases, okay? And when they uh, function as a subject, they are something like this. Can you help me to read this first sentence, please? Um, Mi Rebecca. This one. The first sentence here. Finding? Sorry. That's okay, Miss. Finding, finding a needle in a haystack would be mm -hmm. easier than what we're trying to do. Okay, very good. So as you can see here, finding, right? It's as a subject. They have it there and then they have, they complete only the, the sentence. Oh, here we have the, the, the complete explanation. The finding is the gerund, then a needle is the direct object, and then hashtag it's a prepositional phrase, but that it's something for later that you will study, okay? And then here, okay, so here we have some sentences and I want you to help me to find the germs or the gerund phrases, okay? So for example, number one, what is the gerund or the gerund phrase? Running. Okay. The, it will be enjoy running, right? Number two. Exercise. Exercising. Uh -huh. Exercising. Con ganas, mister. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Let's see next one. Number jogging. 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 Excellent. Jogging. 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 Very good. Next one. Running. Uh -huh. Enjoy running. Enjoy running. Excellent. And the last one. About, about dressing. About dressing. Exactly. <coughs> about dressing. Esas palabritas que tienen eh, like other verbs como enjoy, enjoy, and about dressing, esas son gerund phrases. ¿Por qué? Porque tienen otra palabra para poder formarse la oración. Y cuando solo tienen pues el muy verbo, son germs, ¿ok? That's the difference oh, okay. between, uh -huh. So this is enjoy running, it will be a gerund phrase. And exercising and jogging, it will be a gerund, ¿ok? Just a gerund verb, right? Question so far? No questions. Because right now we're going to go ahead and continue with the manual. Give me one second, please, so we can go ahead and continue with the manual. Here in the manual, we have some more examples. Can you help me to read the as up subject, please, Mr. Juan Jose? Okay. As subject, mm -hmm. increasing our sales is mandatory. Producing mm -hmm. high qualified mm -hmm. goods in our target. Yes, thank you. Let's see next one. Um, help me to read after some verbs. Miss Kenya. After some verbs. I think that I prefer getting a back loan. I dislike fighting employees due to low incomes. Exactly. Thank you. And the last one after prepositions, please. Miss Abigail Mejia. Okay. Mm -hmm. After prepositions, I interest them in buying material. I'm concerned about asking for money. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Very good, very good. Okay, now questions. Right now is the time for questions, you guys. Anything, doubts, comments? Tell me, tell me. Okay, if you don't have questions, then here, as you can see, we have a little bit of practice. Exercise number five. Give me one second. So in exercise number five, okay, yeah. 
you have to, as you see over there, we have to complete with the correct gerund verb in each of the sentences, okay? So right now, for this activity, I'm gonna give you five minutes so you can complete this conversation, okay? Using gerund phrases, okay? Oh no, no se mira. Okay, there you have it. Okay, so let's do it. Complete it with the correct words, okay? Let me know when you're ready, please. Ready? Okay, let's see, number one. Wait a second, just. Okay, number one, do you have, what do you have for number one? Volunteer to help me, please. Giving. Do we start? One more time, me. Giving. Giving to Giving. Chris. Giving. Or, giving. Oration, oration. 
Toda la oración tenía que decir. Yes, <laughs> yes, please, the sentence. Mm, I prefer. Mm -hmm. Selling. I prefer selling them to work one more mm. week. No. Mm. I prefer. Mm -hmm. Baby. Hmm? I, pre I prefer playing. Paying. Mm -hmm. Paying them to work one more week plus a bonus. That's so good, right? Number two, are you interested in? Having. Yes, having new ideas for products. Excellent. Now, next one. Yes, I am. Do you have? Yes, I am. Do you have? I love getting some. Getting some. Mm -hmm. Getting some. Next one, number three. I'm sorry, one more time. Providing. Providing, yes. Providing salaries to employees each month is our priority. Number three, V. Hiring. Mm -hmm. Hiring new workers has to be another one. Number four. Are you worried about? Ask. Mm -hmm. Asking the bank for the new loan. And the last yeah. one. I, don't know. I am more concerned about. Asking. Mm -mm -mm. Selling. Selling. Yeah. Very good. Porque asking estaba antes. So it will be selling. Excellent. Oh. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Check, check the answers, please. Do we have any questions so far? No question, but... Mm -hmm. No question so far here. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hay que, hay que estudiar más. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. The verbs, you have to learn that, basically. So you can um, use them in a sentence. You have to um, learn them, okay? And because this is one topic. This topic is divided in two. Este tema está dividido en dos. Que me imagino que el otro módulo van a aprender el otro. Que conlleva este. Mm -hmm. And you have to learn the verbs. The verbs that you use, the gerunds. Because there's other verbs for the other topics. So you have to identify them. Mm -hmm. So I would let you. Si le, si le puedes dejar de tarea que se los aprenda. Okay. Y el lunes, okay. I will ask you, okay, what, because you have all the weekend, okay, so I will ask you the verbs. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna have the, yes, the list that you have in there in the WhatsApp group, la lista que tienen ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, se la, no le voy a preguntar obvio todo, vea, but some of them, I'm gonna ask you so you learn them, because they are very important. If you don't learn them, you're not going to know when to use them, okay, so please, please, um, please learn them, okay? At least 10, the most common ones, okay? Están unos super fácil, like love, hate, enjoy, like, what is it? Don't mind, don't help, or can't help, sorry. Can, what else? The other one? I don't remember the other one. Um, and let's see, wait a second. I want to move on, but I have a point. Wait. There's love, like keep, involve, raise, start, stop, um, quit, hate, finish, forget. Okay. And after those verbs, you have to use a gerund. Okay. One more time, and just to finish, because after you're going to create some some sentences. Remember that the germs can be used as subjects. Recuerden que los gerundios pueden ser utilizados como sujetos, pero estos eh, 
verbos que utilicemos como gerundios, uh, como sujetos, obviamente, deben de ser cosas que nos movamos. Por ejemplo, increasing, ah, increasing, se mueve una balanza, ok. Producing, maybe like the fabrics they are producing, something is moving, right? Después de ciertos verbos, que era o como un objeto, vea que también es lo mismo. Después de, de dislike, prefer, enjoy, like. Y después de algunas preposiciones, like, well, after a preposition, in, about, and many more. Here it says, create a conversation about the important steps of the cash flow cycle of your company. Say what each step is important to, a, why each step is important to everybody. Okay, and then you have to share the role here in the class. So I'm gonna put you in pairs, okay? And remember, which ones were the steps? Increasing the sales, right? Saving up and many more things that you have to do in the conversation, just saw them. So we are going to uh, give the steps by doing a conversation, okay? About the cash flow, okay? With a classmate, and you have to use the germs. Tienen que utilizar los germs in the different forms, in las diferentes formas. Okay. Do we have any questions right now? The question that you're going to do basically is what is the importance of the cash flow and why? Okay. And then the other person answers, right? Y la otra persona pues ya contesta. It's important because um, increasing the sales, that's one, right? Increasing the sales is very important for the company or reducing the, the employees maybe or hiring new, new people and like that, okay? You have to use the germs. And you have to do it like a conversation. You have to write it down, okay? So questions right now about the activity that you're about to do. Preguntas acerca de la que vamos a intentar hacer ahorita. Questions, questions. Es una conversación, teacher. Yes, yes. La pregunta básicamente va a ser, primero, what, is, what are the steps for the cash flow? What mm. are the steps for the cash flow? That's basic, right? Pero recuerden, hello, good morning, how are you? Explain to me the steps for the cash flow, okay? Así va, toda una conversación. Yes. So, uh -huh. any other questions? Why are you leaving? I'm gonna sign right now. The teams. I'm gonna put you in pairs, right? Hmm. Oh, alguien se salió. Okay, Miss Esmeralda, are you oyente or no? Miss Dania, tú is oyente or ya no? Can you can you check please because me podrían comunicar aquí en el chat please porque si no pues los cambio los chicos. Because I don't know. Well, I'm gonna push you in one. Okay, so let's work. Oh, okay, so yeah. Okay, so let's work. You will have five minutes to create a conversation, okay? Okay, and do your best. Let's go. I'm sorry. evening okay okay
cash flow. And can you explain me, please? Okay. Oh, oh, oh it, it's, your teacher. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand what what is the cash flow. The cash flow. Yeah. La Miss lo sabe. Ella lo explicó al inicio. Yeah. And I, I say, uh, please, she uh, explain. She, she is my you know. for the economy. Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> She's so good. <laughs> please, Rebecca. <laughs> No, but you can explain it first in, in, in you are already explaining it in English before. Si usted lo explicó muy bien anteriormente cuando les pregunté, because that's basically it. Eso es, vea, el flujo del efectivo es que pues, obviamente hay ventas y después compran cosas para producir más y eso, vea. But in English, increasing the sales, right? You have it comes, in, in incomes, o sea, que re receive money and outcomes that you buy things, right? But Miss Rebecca cash will... Cash money. Uh -huh, <laughs> cash management or uh, cash also was the other one. This financial statements, right? And so uh, Miss was explaining like that and you are going to do it one more time here. Okay, Miss Rebecca? I know you did it before, but you can do it one more time. And then change the roles y después cambian los, los roles, okay? Okay. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> okay. I try. <laughs> okay. The first step is going at the bank. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Second, second step mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> and, uh, 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 great great Escribiendo un paso, escribir lo que necesitamos de flujo de efectivo. Hello, what happened? Do you finish? Or oh, nobody is working. What happened? Everybody's oyente here? <laughs> I think so, yes. I see. Todos están de oyente? Ay, oh my goodness. What happened, Mr. Francisco? Uh, nobody speak, teacher. Yes, everybody there is a oyente. Sorry, I'm going to move you. No, no problem about that. Uh, teacher, ¿qué teníamos que hacer? Una conversación o... Yes, a conversation about the cash flow. Okay. Uh... But you have to do it with somebody else, yes. Or can you explain me the cash flow? That would be awesome too. <laughs> Using the, the germs, obviously. For the cash. Yeah. You remember? I don't remember, teacher. So the cash flow is basically when you are buying things and then uh, you sell them, obviously, right? But then when you sell these things, uh, you receive something. You are in. You receive more money, right? And you are increasing your money. So then. What you do is that you buy more material from that money that you receive. And so like that, you, you buy, you sell, you buy, you sell. And like that, there is a cash flow. It's flujo de dinero. That, mm, that would be okay. the word. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is flujo de dinero in Spanish? Uh, 
What they're saying. No. 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 I don't understand. Okay, so it's the same. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's the same. So que se está, el dinero está en constante movimiento. So it's moving. The money is moving and moving and moving. So basically what I want you to do is to explain me that the steps, like into your own way, para ti, tu propia okay. manera de explicarme, like how do you think the cash flows? How do you think that happens? Wow. was exactly like the 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 question so try to do it uh in here we have a little bit of uh, example in the in the conversation mister here here in this conversation oh you have the manual right yes i have the manual uh-huh here is exactly the 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 steps. You have it, mister. No, teacher, I, I know I had an idea for this one. <laughs> Dear Mister, it's exactly I, I, I the am, step. I am losing it. I am losing it. <laughs> you are lost. Yeah. Mister, pero ahí, como lo puede ver, está cabalito, mire. Increasing ourselves. Uh -huh. That's one. Increasing ourselves, analyzing and keeping analyzing track. Analyzing and keeping track. Mm -hmm. oh, right. Uh, it's the same. Eso es, that's the cash flow, mister. <laughs> Eso sería cash flow. All right. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Is. Mm -hmm. Um, and I give them one more second. Just give me one sec. Give me one sec, I'm gonna go to the other rooms, okay? Okay, teacher, okay, okay. Eran unas por ejemplo, si hablamos de una depreciación, que ciertamente es una variación que me muestra a nivel de estado financiero. Oh. Yes. Well. Then? And then? Uh -huh. Analyzing. Analyzing? Yes. Only that. Yes. Sure. And where is the sale? The selling? No. Not include. Mm, analyzing. Aunque aquí lo pusieron en la plática. First, analyzing and keeping track on income and outcomes. Ok, Sandra. Si quiere, repetimos porque ahí está la teacher y nos puede corregir. Así lo dice, <laughs> que es lo que. Sí, lo hicimos bien. Según lo okay. que entendimos, teacher. Vaya, estar, lea. What are the cash flow? 
Okay. The first step is uh, going at the bank. The second step, uh, writing the necessary cash flow. It tercero, working at the cashier. Cajera se dice cashier. Cashier, cashier, yes. Cashier, uh -huh. okay, cashier. And third, third, el tercer paso, third. Third, third, third. third <laughs> tercero, sí. me dicen, I was like, uh -huh. third, uh -huh. uh -huh. And four, uh -huh. uh, uh, counting the cash. Uh -huh. And five, taking the cash, y I going my house. Yes, very good, Mister. <laughs> That's a one cash flow, but for companies yeah. it's a little bit different. Y ahorita se lo puedo volver a explicar porque vi que varios sí. están batallando. Porque ese cash flow para usted, for the, the, the ah, us, the regular no. people. Pero hay otro cash flow para las companies. Vamos a hablarlo en un segundo. Vamos a regresar a la principal, ¿ok? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bueno. But very good. Good job. I love yeah, it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so coming back. <laughs> okay, so let's wait a little bit for the other ones. They're coming, they're coming. <sighs> Let's wait a little bit. I was listening to you and you were having a little bit of trouble because you didn't remember what is the cash flow for a company. You didn't remember it. But I'm gonna explain to you one more time, don't worry. And then, yeah, so we can continue. I think most of you are here. Who is missing, I think? Okay, uh, everybody's here. Okay, great. Okay, just a reminder, okay, what is the cash flow? Okay, here. So the cash flow it starts with the business, right? El cash flow, hay dos tipos, por cierto, okay? Uh, there's the cash flow that we use, está el que nosotros utilizamos y está el de las companies. Si se fijaron desde desde que iniciamos, eh, bueno, todo el módulo, eh, hemos venido hablando acerca de las companies, right? How to send a package, how to receive a package, how to make complaints, how to receive complaints. But this one is about the money, pero esta unidad es acerca del dinero, ¿verdad? So, yeah. and the cash flow for the companies, okay? First, it starts with the business, okay? Primero, inicia con el negocio. They have to do a finance, okay? Or they have to make like a prestar dinero, okay? Or they have to maybe ask for a loan. They have to invest. Tienen que invertir, right? And they have to do a financial thing. And then what that happens, when then that happens, they have the money, they have sometimes, they have to do, and it's going for the operation. Después va la operation. Why? Because they produce, porque después ellos producen, ¿verdad? Y ahí es donde después viene el income or a profit. Cualquiera de esos dos, okay? Income or profit. Why? Because income is that they receive, or profit is the money, okay? Those are the steps. This is number one. This is number two. Number three. Four, and also this is, the, let's say five, okay? But these are the steps, okay? Estos serían los pasos para el, el flow, el cash flow for the companies, para las compañías. Any company, small or big, siempre sucede eso, vea? Cualquier, sean, ustedes me imagino que tienen algún amigo, ustedes like, iniciaron algún... Algún emprendimiento, ¿verdad? lo primero que hacen es ni modo, tienen que invertir, ¿verdad? Entonces compran el producto y lo empiezan a ofrecer, ¿verdad? Tienen que invertir en ese caso su dinero, ¿ok? Después lo venden y lo venden un poquito caro, ¿verdad? Para poder recibir incomes, ¿verdad? Right? And then you earn 
and you buy more, and then again, right? Y después el mismo ciclo. Sell, receive, okay? Y así, vea, están. Hasta que, pues, obviamente se hacen rich, right? right. And so, yes, that's the cash flow for a company. Is small or big? One more time, okay? okay. So, and, and then there's the cash flow for us, the human people, okay? Y después está lo de the cash flow, el que nosotros, vea, a veces... We go to the bank and we change some money, or maybe you receive the payment for the job and like that. That's another type of uh, cash flow. Mm -hmm. I think I think okay, Miss mm -hmm. uh, Igual Igual because we because we are in, in emprendedor, como se dice? Entrepreneurs or uh -huh. Uh -huh, entrepreneurs. Uh, Eh, somos emprendedores, solicitamos un préstamo, es igual que una compañía grande que solicitamos un dinero para hacer una inversión y puede recuperar esa inversión. Exactly, it's the same. It's the same. Ah, pues, it's entonces, uh -huh. ok. Entonces, okay. no estamos perdidos en nuestro caso. Ah, uh -huh. ok, really. Ok, no, you're not. No, I told you, you're not. You were, you were good. Ustedes estaban bien. Don't okay. worry, yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Everybody was, was doing a, a, a good job. I didn't listen to some of the conversations, so I want to listen right now, okay? No escuché algunas conversaciones. I just only listen to you and Miss, and Miss Rebecca. What about you, Mr. Juan Jose? Could you practice with Miss Abigail or no? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yo empiezo, Abigail. Okay. Hello, Abigail. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine too. Thanks. What are steps of cash flow? Okay. Uh, the steps one analyzing incomes and outcomes. Step two determining non monetary items. Step three establishing liquid cash. Okay, thanks. We schedule a meeting that next week to review. Okay, fine. See okay. you next week. Of course. Great, thank you. Yeah. That was Excellent. awesome. Yes, yeah. I love it. Very good. Okay, and now, wait, one more. I think it will be the next one. Oh, nobody else. Miss Sandra and Mr. Mauricio, do you want to do it? Mm. Please try it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, teacher. Start, Sandra. Okay. What are step the cash flow? Perdón, empecemos por el saludo, porque esa sí nos faltó. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hello, Mr. Mauricio. Hello, hello. Okay. What are the steps the guys flow? Ah, uh, the first step is going at banks. Second step, writing the necessary cash flow. The third, teacher, sir, uh, working at cashier. Yes. And four, uh, counting the cash. In five, in taking the cash, I yeah, go in my house. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That was super good. Yeah, definitely. That's another one, right? When you have a loan, a, a presumo, right? That for for yeah. this investment in any company, you need this. In every company, they need. At least that you're rich or you have money, you can invest. That's also good, right? There are some companies that do, that do that, right? Okay, thank you. Now, I'm gonna do a tenant section because it's already time. Please say presente. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you, Andrea Amalia. Daniel Isbeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Dice Yamilet. I think she is here. Okay, let's go. Es eh, Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto. 
Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. I don't know what happened to Mr. Jose. I think I saw him a little bit earlier. Kenya, Elizabeth. Miss Kenya también se salió. What happened? Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebeca Guadalupe. Present. Sandra Abigail. Sandra Sandra Abigail, uh, Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Thank you very good. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and continue. Thank you and uh, very good. And thank you for practicing this activity, okay, with me. And well, with your classmate, it will be. Now, I have a little bit of more uh, speaking time because I feel that we must practice uh, speaking, okay? So here, you will see uh, some sentences and you have, you have to give a verb to complete it, okay? Like this. And it says here, ask your partner to tell you about the following things as follow-up questions where possible. So these are the different options that I got. Aquí tenía algunas ideas. For example, tell me about something you want to do in the future, okay? For example, something I want to do in the, I'm gonna give you my example, okay? Give me one second because it's too close. Okay, something that, I, oh my goodness. Something that I want to do in the future is to uh, traveling around the world, okay? That is something that I want to do. And something is maybe I like, um, maybe going to, I like going to Cuatepeque Lake, maybe. I don't know if it is per, still turquoise or no, I don't remember, okay? So what are you going to do? Using these phrases, you have to complete it with the adjunct verb phrase, okay? So, que aquí tienen estas frases, y que lo que deben de hacer es complementar um, with the gerund form of a phrase, okay? About your life. Yes, everybody's going to have a time to complete a sentence. Can you start please, Miss Sandra, with number one? Tell me about something that you want to do in the future. Teacher, lo siento, no, no escuché. Pero... Oh, ok. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a elegir una de esas. Eh, bueno, en este caso yo lo estaba haciendo de esta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y vas a decir uh, una oración, ok, la que sigue acá debe ser una oración de tu vida, de lo que planeas hacer, de lo que quieres hacer en tu futuro, en este caso, utilizando el gerundio. Por ejemplo, yo les dije... Tell me about something that you want to do in the future. And I told you, um, for example, I love uh, or I want to, to be traveling around the world, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my idea, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you, can you tell me one idea? What you want to be doing in the future? Mm -hmm. Or Miss Rebecca, do you want to try? Oh, Mr. Mauricio, okay. Mm -hmm. I want. Uh... <laughs> one, one, one. Yeah, I want, I want. To what? I want. Oh, no, no, se me ocurre nada. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, what about uh, not very good at doing? Like something that you're not very good at doing. Que nos. Eh, díganos, Mr. 
eh, en qué no es tan bueno. Like, for example, for me, I am not good. I am not. I am not good. At what? I am not good at writing. Uh, speaking English. Oh, don't say <laughs> that, Mister. You're good. For example, for me, my my letters are ugly, so I am not good at at writing. Okay, because my lyrics are awful. I prefer because of the marker. So okay. at writing. Okay, you you say at no speaking speaking <laughs> French speaking French. Okay. Um, uh -huh. So what about, <laughs> let's see, Miss, Miss Abigail, what about you? Something you're not good at. Abigail Mejia. <laughs> yes, Miss, please. Okay, ¿puedo seleccionar cualquiera? Yes, sure, Miss. Okay, um, okay. I love doing at the weekend. Mm -hmm. I doing. Ah, okay. I love visit the beach. Oh, you love going to visit the beach. I come to see, yes. Mm. And I'm going to visit my family in Santa Ana. Mm. Nice, Miss. Very good. Thank you for sharing. What about you, Miss Lady? Tell me one. Here. Mm. That's something you uh -huh. would like to learn to do. Aha, uh -huh. something I will learn to learn to do. I learning the mm -hmm. for example, I would like uh, I I mean you I would like to learn is speaking French or Mandarin, maybe. Okay. Uh, okay. And I would like to learn uh, swim. Nada. Ah, swimming. Or drive to car. Driving a car. Very good. Car. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Miss Michelle, what about you? One of these, please, that you would like to share your idea, please. Uh, Sometimes you want to do in the future. Ah, okay. Uh, I I want to uh, to study mm -hmm. uh, maestria. Ah, masters. Master, yes. Oh, nice. That's great. What about you, Mr. Juan Jose? Okay, something you are thinking of doing next week. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I am thinking to visit my family. Oh, you are thinking of visiting. Because remember, we have here a preposition. Okay. Of visiting. To visiting my family oh, in Santa nice. Ana. Oh, great. That's good, mister. Good, good. Like, what about, let's see, next one. Mr. Jorge, what about you? Something you, you want to do in the future? Okay, tell me. Something mm, I want for to example, mm, the next Sunday, I am going to go to the stadium. I see in the final to the football, to the National Football League. Wow. <laughs> so you're going to, you're going to El Magico? That's the mm -hmm. name. That's the no, name. What be, is it? Because, because the next Sunday, my favorite team, Club Deportivo Faz, uh, playing the <laughs> final. <laughs> I know what you're doing. I know where you're <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not from Aguila anyway, so that's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not from Aguila anyway. So I didn't know your favorite thing. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> okay. I know that he can, the, the group, well, the team came last Saturday, I guess. Saturday or Sunday. I don't remember mm, what uh, day. Saturday, right? Or Sunday. No sé qué día fue, bro. The last uh, Saturday. Saturday was here. Played, played in San Miguel. <laughs> yes, in Aguilalos. 
Yeah. Ano <laughs> <laughs> pero ngayon na anyways, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it was a shame, but ano pero ngayon na. <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> okay, let's see next. Uh, thank you, Mister. Okay, that's great that you're going to the final. Okay. <laughs> with who is is competing with? Uh, fast with with um. What's the other? The Hokoro. Hoko. Oh yes, it's true. I remember I watched that game too. There's Hokoro with Platense, right? What's the game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, you see, <laughs> I know a little bit. Hokoro Where... win. Yeah, I know. Hokoro <laughs> is going to be against fast, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So that will be a nice game. Hokoro is in something. He's doing good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's yeah he's doing good. He's playing well. But I don't know. I don't know what is going to happen. <laughs> but good. Let's see. Okay, everybody participate. Great. Okay. Now, just to finish, I have one more activity. And the last one is a review time for the verbs. Okay. Because I know the verbs are sometimes they are hard to learn, as Mr. said. Este son los más difíciles de aprender. So aquí tengo una pequeña práctica in which you have to tell me what is the verb, okay, with ing. Like here I have, it says gerund used as objects. And here we have, I often go to the beach on weekends. I like swimming. Number two, Robert has a red sport car. He enjoys. What do you think it could be the verb? Mm -hmm. He enjoys. With ING, right? Because that's the answer. Driving. Ah, <clears throat> mm -hmm. oh, yes, very good, Miss. Thank you. Driving. My friends hate. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Cooking. Okay. Cooking. Cooking. They they always eat at restaurants cooking so ah yeah number four many i mean mary likes watching yes. watching. Watching. watching tv but she doesn't have a television mm -hmm. i said i bought a new bicycle last week i love driving i'm sorry driving driving no because driving no. is already like cycling. Um, yes, cycling. Yes, very good. Cycling. Number six, if you like, there's a great bookstore nearby. Reading. Reading. Yeah, reading. Number seven, Thomas and Joyce with a lot of different toys. I mean, colors, sorry. Painting. Okay, painting. Yes. Number eight, Richard lives near a mountain, so he often goes. <clears throat> what do you think? In the winter. In the winter. Hmm. Really? In in the winter, I dislike because I always fall down on the ice. Hmm. Surfing. No, but it's in the in no. the in the ice on the ice. In the ice. Uh huh. So no. Skating. Okay, skating. Okay, let's see. Skating. Number ten. Last summer, Jenny tried. Oh no, but aquí está otro. Oh no, but it's another, another verb. Silver. Softboard. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es tabla de surfear? Surfing. Yes, Surf. surfing. My brother likes seafood, so he likes. Fishing. Yes, fishing. I really hate dirty dishes, so. Washing. Washing. Mm -hmm. Washing dirty dishes. Sam doesn't like to kill animals, so he never goes. Mm -hmm. Hunting. 
Yes, hunting. Number 14, I don't like because I am not a good at a good dancer. Dancing. Dancing. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I am sorry, but I can't go. I hurt my foot. Solo no falta uno. Cooking. Cooking. What is cooking? Skying. No, but it's skin here. It's here, it's skin. Cooking. Okay. No, cooking is already. It's only running. Missing. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh. Let's see if we how many points we got. Oh, nice. We had a 10 mm -hmm. again. Excellent, everybody. Oh, we wait. Okay, <sighs> so. Uh, that's it for today's class okay i don't know if you have any questions any comments any doubts so far or no questions no question please please remember the platform by tomorrow okay por favor si no la han terminado recuerden que es la section number four and final exam okay thank you everybody for being here today gracias a todos por venir el día de ahora i hope to see you on monday okay have a great weekend que tengan un buen fin de semana i see you monday bye bye everybody bye 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 take care everybody good night bye bye take care